So if it is still their position that they can still waive cross-examining the rest, I think so that that time can be added to the star witness of the defense, then I don't think there is no problem because you had made a rule. Then they can still make that application and continue to receive the time that was meant for cross-examination to witness, Mr. Speaker, because we really want to know uh, what happened, Mr. Speaker. And I think that ruling you had made in the morning. I thank you. Okay, I will um, point of orders, and this time I'll take ladies. Senator Crystal Asige. So, Asige. My apologies, Senator Crystal. Apology accepted. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Speaker. Um, I had one exactly what Senator Cheragay said that um, there was a ruling in the morning, and we had all agreed amongst us that um, we would. Uh, allow for the council to reserve his time, remove it from two witnesses that um, he said he would then instead on this star witness speaker. Thank you, Senator. On this side, Senator Gloria. Speaker, I'm of, um, I am of the opinion that as much as uh, I understand that the ruling was made earlier, Speaker, two points have been raised prior on issues of technicalities, even from the county assembly speaker. And when we do the Senate and we give our final decision, Mr. Speaker, it's imperative that we ensure setting, giving someone the basis to go to court and say that the procedures were not followed well, or that people for the county assembly side were under duress to wave away their 15 minutes, Mr. Speaker. We are here, we were here yesterday till midnight, and I minutes will be the difference between someone going to court to say that we did not follow the procedure. Mr. Speaker, just allow the amount of time that they require. And I believe they're only asking for 15 minutes. Yeah. Thank you, Senator. Counsel, yes, having Mr. Speaker, been reminded sir. that you, you had waived um, <laughs> your time witnesses previously, uh, I'm being informed you do have a balance of 15 minutes. Yes. You had already other 15 minutes. So I will give you a further 15 minutes to see if you can be more questioning. Humbled. We are most humbled, Mr. Speaker, sir. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Witness, where did you meet Madam Lucy Wahito. Did you call her to your office? Did you use your phone? How did you meet her? Mr. Speaker, I met Lucy Wahito at the stadium where offices. So it was correct when she informed the Senate that she met you or you summoned her to your office, correct? Mr. Speaker, you called out your was office. A casual meeting out there. The governor had a different function, and I met her in that function. Did you look at the pleadings of Lucy Wahito?